Welcome to Chuck Bills. This is the third video in my series on setting up a website for an organization. In the video before this, we talked about setting up a Google workspace or an account to use to register all of these other accounts so that someone in the future can have access to these accounts without having to have access to you. Now, I am no longer uh, from this point on going to be using that email address that I covered in the last video, which was admin at yourdomain.com. I'm gonna be using it for a different domain and I'm gonna show it before I had actually already filmed this whole series and gone through all of these steps and I got tired of censoring. So I'm gonna have a throwaway domain that we're gonna use here today. And when I reference your domain, it's gonna be the one we see on the screen here. Um, to get started, let's start with purchasing a domain. If you already have a domain, you can simply transfer your name server to Cloudflare. But if you don't have a domain, let's go ahead and purchase one and sign up. So we'll start for free. We're going to create our account, Chuck at Chuck Builds, and click sign up. And so we have the option to enter an existing domain, which is where you would transfer a domain, set up your remote name servers, or we can register a new domain. I'm gonna use a throwaway for this. So now we're going to purchase a domain and I'm gonna do Chuck builds a website.com and it's available for 977. We'll go ahead and purchase this for one year. What I wanna cover for a second is your registration. There's something called a who is record for all domains that you can look up the owner and see their name, address, where they live and when it was registered. For your organization, it's important to use someone that knows how to access this Cloudflare and that will kind of be around for a little while. It's typically someone who's gonna be on the credit card or someone that can make purchases for your organization. You're gonna to need to call them up and make sure this is all okay and to get that credit card information from them. There is billing on this page, but I do want you to know that Cloudflare will redact all personal information. So don't feel like you have to use a fake name or a fake address for this. They also do allow you to use PO boxes. So if you have an organization, again, a PO box is a great, great way to get this registered. For the organization that I was helping, I did register it under my name and my email so that I can come in and fix something if for whatever reason something goes wrong. I'll be using my real information for this registration and I'll cut back once we're done. I did just want to kind of call out how that works and that you will need someone to receive the emails to renew your domain or to answer disputes if you get them through Cloudflare. If you are doing this for an organization, I would encourage you to consider purchasing multiple years to make this a little bit easier, but you might not want to go 10 years out to where no one will remember how to do this or what email it's registered to. I'm going to fill this out and we'll cut back. 